This is Nightline, April 22nd, 2011. Star Trek, Elvis, the Yankees. For whatever reason, some figures inspire such cultish following, such all-consuming fandom, that the hardcore faithful are apt to turn entire rooms of their homes, or in some cases their entire homes, into gaudy shrines. Well, as Nick Watt finds out tonight, the British royal family falls into that category, too. Before you even cross the threshold, you can tell something weird lurks beyond. Welcome to Heritage House. Come Thank on you. in, I'll Thank show you, you around. Here we are. Good grief. <laughs> there is a um, lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we start? Indeed. Crammed into this little house, royal trinkets collected over 30 years. From a William baby doll to a mock throne. Oh, I do sit on my throne sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's Prince Charles as a gnome. Well, and that's a jar of jelly infused with a piece of Diana's are. hair. Photos of Margaret Tyler's own family get, um, just one shelf. <laughs> yeah. Um, how many individual pieces do you have? Do you all know? together, if everything were out, all together, it'd be about 10,000 10, of, of everything, yes. And you would notice if I stole something today? I would, yes. Yes, I would. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to, but... <laughs> no, no. Okay. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> She'd know because this is not random. There are sections, the Queen, front and centre. Prince Charles occupies yeah. what should be the dining room. Prince Andrew? under the stairs. This is your home. I mean, your TV's there. You, yes. you can kind of almost see the TV yes. from here. Yes, and That's why you... I watch my royal videos. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Sometimes squash next to tourists from Japan and America who come to stay. As um, you do. <laughs> is this, I mean, I, I, why? I just enjoy collecting on the royal family. And it's such a fascinating subject. You know, you, you just couldn't get another family like it. I think it's fantastic. But, in a sense, she's like a stalker from a B-movie. What do you think the Queen would would think if she walked in this door? Do you think she, I mean, she might I be a bit freaked out. Uh, no, I'd like to think she'd feel at home, because all her <laughs> relations are here. <laughs> and she is as well. She has met the Queen and gave her a cake. And was she friendly? Yes, very nice, yes. Only thing is, she makes me feel very emotional and I'm always scared I'm going to burst into tears cause, and I want to say thank you, thank you for what you've done for us. OK, so, I will never really understand this adoration, so let's just in wallow in it. Yes, Through the back yes, is the Diana room. In this life. Would you like to see yeah. it? Yes? Absolutely. Just look at all this. I met Diana about six weeks before she died, and I was wearing this rosette. She came to our local hospital and opened a children's ward, and she threw back her head and laughed when she saw it, and she said, oh, you have got it bad. She wanted to build a William and Kate conservatory, but the planning department wouldn't let her. She'll buy the house next door if it ever comes up for sale. She's insatiable. And guess where she'll be wedding day? Front and center. Look out for her when you're watching on TV. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in London. Well, she does have it bad. Thanks to Nick Watt for, for that. And tune in to Nightline Monday and all of next week. We're going to crash that royal wedding. My co-anchor, Cynthia McFadden's there. She'll bring you all the pomp and circumstance live from London. Finally tonight, some late breaking news. Severe weather in the St. Louis area. At least seven tornadoes reported there. The airport sustained significant damage with windows and roads torn up and a shuttle bus apparently carried by winds to the top of a terminal. There have been reports of minor injuries only, thankfully. The storm is now moving into adjacent parts of Illinois. We hope you check in to Good Morning America. They'll have more on those storms. And thank you for watching ABC News. We're always online at abcnews.com. Until next time, good night, America. Have a great week.